All right, all right, all right. I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Rekha Kadash. I want to give another double honors to the apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. This is the brother Malachi. And I'm coming to you with a lesson that, you know, we can see that each week things are just basically spotting up. You just see different things. And the things that we've been seeing is with uh with the so-called Jews, all right, and how they're portraying Jake now. Especially with this news article, we see that uh, Esau is 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 he's he, hey, he's he's getting desperate now. All right, he probably paying this man off or whatever, or he probably setting it up the way that he wants it. All right, but we're gonna see as, as we read this article how each week we've been seeing things just popping up constantly, and it's all trying to link it back to the Hebrew Israelites. But now they're demonizing it with the black Hebrew Israelites. You can see how they have. Uh, I'm trying to see what 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 is the uh, this man's. I believe it's I believe it's Grafton Thomas the name. Yes, okay, Grafton Thomas. So you see how he has the beard. It's not lined up. He got the woolly hair. You see, kind of look a little rough. Look like he kind of bowed that out of his mind. They probably, I'm sure they probably paid this man off. Okay? But you can see that this is the narrative that Esau is trying to play. He's trying to put the narrative that, yes, he's he's an Israelite. That, 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 you see he got the beard. You know he got the physical attributes of being uh, 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 Salakia, an, an Israelite. So they're going to try to link all the Israelites together based off the different and current events that are going on. So this is right here with the stabbing, all right? So I'm going to read the article. This is uh, called The Suspect in the New York Hanukkah Stabbings Now Faces Federal Hate Crime Charges. Federal Hate Crime Charges. Here's what authorities found, all right? So let's see what the authorities found. Let's see what es uh, uh, e Esau, fuck it, Esau, what he has put up together, all right? So this is through his uh his media. So let's go ahead and go through the uh, news article. This is written today at 3.40. So let's go ahead and uh, let's jump into it. So it reads, The man accused of using a machete to wound five people at a Hanukkah celebration now faces hate crime charges after authorities discover Anti-Semitic journal uh, entries. En entries. So like here. Grafton Thomas had already pleaded not guilty to five accounts of attempted murder after the Saturday night attack in Monsey, New York. But on Monday, federal authorities also charged Thomas with obstruction of free exercise of religious beliefs involving an attempt to kill. He appeared in federal court Monday afternoon and the judge ordered him to be detained. In criminal com com complaint, FBI Special Agent Julie S. Brown said investigators found journal, entry, journal entries in Thomas' home, well, in Thomas's home that expressed anti-Semitic sentiments. <laughs> So this is what Esau is coming up. As soon as this guy gets arrested, they happen to go to his house, search through things, and they find journal entries in his home that express anti-Semitic sentiments. All right? Meaning hate crimes towards these uh, false Jews. Okay? So it reads on. One entry said Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> took from the powerful people, Ebonoid Israelites, and questioned why people mourn for anti-Semitism when there is Semitic genocide. Uh, 
Uh, so like I just lost my place. Okay, the criminal complaint said, uh, even though an Israelites appeared to be a reference to the black Hebrew Israelite movement. <laughs> it reads on. The journal also referred to Adolf Hitler and Nazi culture on the same page as drawings of a Star of David and a swastika, according to the complaint. The, in the internet search history from a cell phone found in Thomas's car included searches such as why did Hitler hate the Jews and German Jewish temples near me? The, uh, the searches also include the phrase prominent companies found by Jews in America. On Saturday, the day of the attack, the search history showed an article called New York City increases police presence in Jewish neighborhoods after possible sem uh, Semitic uh, attacks. Here's what to know. Saturday, Saturday's was the latest in the, in the long series of attacks against Jewish New Yorkers. Recent violence has prompted new hate crime education in some schools and heightened security in Jewish neighborhoods in Brooklyn and across the state. So we can see right now, Esau is, 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 is he, he, he cooking the pot right now. He getting everything ready to come after the Israelites. All right? We don't know if this man's been paid off, if he's been set up, or, or, or if he really was in his right mind to go ahead and do this. But really, I'm sure he probably got paid off to do this. There's probably some regular nigga on the street that just want to go ahead and just, you know, he want to get paid. So he's going to just go along with it. He'll probably be out of jail if he got paid for it. You never know. But we can see how Esau is creating the, na uh, the narrative to come against, to have a reason to come after the Israelites. You can see that, uh, was it the Patriot Act? They extended it a couple more months. So you can see, it, as soon as, I mean, Lord willing, you're going to see the uh, uh, Esau, he's going to come after the Israelites. He's going to come very soon. So for everyone that's out there playing around the games and stuff, this is not a time to be playing. All right? So as soon as Esau makes that 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 flood to come through, hey, I mean, you're going to see the scriptures, uh, what Yahweh was speaking and what he was prophesying, it's going to come true. We're going to be up against these uh, these kings and these princes, these, these so-called judges and uh, so on and so forth, to give the testimony of Yahweh all right? They're going to come after us. They're going to come break inside your home probably late at night, or, or, or they're probably going to come get you at work unaware. They're going to they're gonna be following you. They, they Trust me, they, they used to already know who everyone is. Your face plastered all over YouTube. You can't run from it. They may come get us while we out on camp. Who knows? Who knows? But you can see the narrative is, 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 is coming up. You can see that sooner or later, we're going to be plastered all over the news. We already are. But how they demonize the Israelites, it's already, the, uh, 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 it's already demonized so bad to it's only the black Hebrew Israelites. All right? They're already putting a negative uh, notion already on it. I'm trying to see how much more I want to read this. I don't want to read the whole article. Okay. Let's just start here. Suspect's family. He has no history of anti-Semitism. And it reads, In a Monday court hearing in White Plains, New York, the federal public defender for Thomas told the judge that Thomas was taking medications and has issues with bipolar and schizophrenia. Thomas's relatives said he has a long history of mental illness and hospital hospitalizations, according to a, a statement released by Thomas's attorney Michael H. Sussman. He has no so like yet, he has no known history of anti-Semitism and was raised in a home which embraced and respected all religions and races, the statement said. In a news conference Monday, Sussman said papers from his clients showed the ramblings of a disturbed individual. 
There is a Salakia. There is no suggestion suggestion any of those ramblings and pages of writing of an anti-Semitic uh, motive of any anti-Semitism. The attorney said. Sussman said said his client has been treated in mental health facilities. I won't right now comment on the nature and quality of that treatment, he said. <laughs> but it may be that he was non-compliant with medications prescribed to deal with his severe depression of other manifestations of psychosis. I'm trying to see what else to read on. But well, we can see, hold on, let's, let's, read right, let's start from right here. New York City police officers who responded to the scene saw that he appeared to be blood on Thomas's hands and clothing and the smell of bleach in his vehicle. Federal prosecu prosecutors said authorities recovered a machete from Thomas's car that appeared to have traces of dried blood, federal uh, prosecutors said. Thomas pleaded not guilty to five accounts of attempted murder and one count of first-degree burglary. Burglary. His bail was set at five million. Whoa! It released on if released on bond, Thomas must forfeit any firearms he owns and stay away from the victims in the rabbi's home. A judge rule. So where's Jake gonna come get up with all this money if he gets out? If he get out walking around, hey, he got paid off, man. That's just what it is. But this is the face of what Esau is trying to portray. You can see he's putting the Hebrew, uh, well, the Salaki, the black Hebrew Israelites on the news. He's trying to put us on, on these uh, different news articles. All right? So let's go ahead and get at some scriptures. I don't want to make the lesson too long. Uh, this is Psalms 140 and chapter 1. It reads, Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. And who is that violent man? Who's this evil man? This is Esau. All right? Verse 2. Which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually. They gathered together for war. And a precept for that is Psalm 64 and 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. So for a person to go and try to demonize a group of people, to, 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 to find different ways to be somewhat sneaky, conniving, being that serpent, you can see this man's wisdom is like, uh, on the left-hand side is, is, is wickedness. He's, he's, he's trying to find a diligent search to accuse us, all right? And we're going to get into that later on. But his, his, his in, the inward thought of every one of them is deep. You can see how Esau is, especially when it comes to this truth. How he has all the different executive orders. How he has uh, the McGill plan, Operation Cable Splice, uh, Splicer, uh, Rex 84, the King Alfred plan. He got the, uh, the coffins and everything ready. He got the guillotines order. He got the guns, the ammunition. He's ready, man. This man, hey, he, he already did a diligent search. But you see, the two-thirds of our people... They so lost in La La Land, like they just gonna get destroyed. All right, <laughs> two thirds of our people are gonna see who Esau is. All right, this man has deceived them so much to think that he's this this nice guy that nothing that nothing he can't hurt a fly. But they're not looking at the track record of this man. Like the scripture says, never trust thine enemy. All right, let's go back to the scriptures. Um, let's read verse two again. Which imagine mischief in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. He's trying to, he's trying to, he's going to war. He's going to war with the saints, with the elect. He's going to war. 
especially uh, with all of Israel, but mainly the elect. Why? Because we are the mouthpiece of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? We're getting his word out, and it is cutting him so much that he sees that his kingdom is falling down. So the only way he's going to have to do is try to demonize us, and then he's going to come for us. So this is verse 3. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adders, poison is under their lips. Selah. As you can see on the news, in his different uh, news article, how his play of words, how he can deceive you, just by his tongue. It's like a serpent. It's so smooth, man. It's so sneaky, man. You will get trapped up to it, man, if you not, if you, if the spirit not working with you. This is how a lot of people out here in, in this world, they're going to get caught up by the snares of Esau. They're going to get caught up in it, but not the elect, all right? For we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, all right? This is verse 4. Keep me, O Yahweh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, from the hands of the wicked. And who's that wicked? Esau. Get that precept in Job 9 and 24. It tells you who the wicked is. Who, who is the wicked? Who's the one that's causing all this mischief on the earth? It ain't none of these other nations. Who's the one that's in power? Esau, E, Edom. All right? Let's read it at the top again, verse 4. Keep me, O Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. He's trying to overthrow the goings of the, uh, the saints, the, 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 the elect, the hopeful elect, the man that's prophesying, the man that's sighing and crying that's out there. We're on the streets preaching. The videos you can see they're trying to take down YouTube. This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to overthrow the goings of the saints, but it's not going to happen. So when he try to take away one thing or try to demonize it one way, it's going to fall as a snare unto him another way. So he's going to have to try to get out of this snare, but then he try to get out of there, he's going to come over here. Next thing you know, it's going to be another snare waiting for him. It's going to be so many snares coming up for him, he ain't going to know what's going to happen. He's fulfilling the Bible prophecy right now as we speak. All right? I'm going to uh, read uh, verse 5. The proud have hid a snare for me. This is a snare. He's trying to hide a snare for us by demonizing us on, on, on the news and on the news articles. All right. The proud have hid a snare for me and courts. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. Say la. So gins would be like another thing as for a snare, a trap. He's trying to set traps on for us. But guess what? It's not going to happen. He's not going to prevail. All right? So this is uh, Revelation 12, verse, select you, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his uh, anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accuses them before our power, the Most High, day and night. So as the scripture says, uh, when they do a diligent search, you should know that on the left-hand side of Esau, he's doing all different type of, he's trying to do different try to, uh, sacrifices, and he's, he's trying to, he's trying to, Trying to accuse us before the Most High. This is the accuser of the brethren of the Israelites, Esau. Yes, he has his left hand side, and he's trying to do everything he can do to stay in power. All right? But it ain't going to happen. The scriptures are already written. All right? It cannot be broken. So let's go ahead and close out on here. Uh, Isaiah chapter 62. 62 verse 6. Yes. It reads, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. 
ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, keep not silence. This is what the scriptures is saying. We're not gonna keep uh uh Salaki, we're not gonna keep silence. You're gonna see us, we're gonna proclaim this truth until it's the time that we can't do it anymore. All right. Keep not silence. Verse 7. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So this is why you see the brothers, they, they around the clock, you see different uh, uh, videos popping up day and night throughout the hours of the day. When I go to work, I come off, I got like maybe 20 to 30 notifications. And that's just a little bit of brothers. I don't even have a whole lot. This is just maybe between 20 and, and maybe 20 and uh 25 brothers maybe on my page. I don't even think I have that much. But when I get off, it's between 20 and 30 videos usually. And that's just within the span of, uh what, from the morning time until around 2 o'clock. This is letting you know. But when I get off, guess what? At this time, people are already there. People are off work. You know, they have times to... uh. To read and go study, they do their family, but next thing you know, you see a whole bunch of live videos and so much content. It's, 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 it's forever. So you see that the Most High is putting the spirit on the brothers for us to not keep silence. Why? Because we're not giving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. We're not giving him no rest. We, 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 we're complaining day and night, we're sighing and crying about the things that this man is doing, this evil man. This wicked ass man, and he needs to be put down. All right, so he's going to be put down, but we just seeing how everything is playing out. Why? Because it's Bible prophecy. This is the things that Esau has to do. He has to come after us. He has to demonize us. He has to persecute us. These are the things that are written. All right. So for the brothers that see this, that probably never seen that article or anything, it has been out for a couple days. I am a little late on it, but it's still good to put it out. Why? Because of Yahweh uh, Shem Yahweh Shai, he says his word is not going to go out void. He's, it's going to go out wherever it needs to be sent. So even if I just need one person to see this video, they're going to see it. They're going to see how Esau is and videos are constantly going out, okay? So hopefully, Lord willing, you guys kind of uh, kind of jumped everywhere a little bit, but Lord willing, the, the elect, you're going to understand what's going on. You're going to see the times that we're in, and this is the time not to be playing. All right? We're like, the Yahweh Shah is right at the door. Right at the door, and the door is about to close. The door of mercy about to close. The famine of the word is about to come. Soon. Very soon. All right, so take heed. So I want to give another double honor to the apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations out there to you, sincere Akim. Keep pushing this word. Keep going. Keep going. Keep not silence. Keep going until we establish. That's like until uh, the Most High. He established until he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. This is the brother Malachi. Shalom.